All right, folks, so today we're here to talk about this notorious SAT geometry question, which appeared first on the January 2006 SAT and is now uh, available because the January 2006 test is available as one of the ones you can download for free uh, from the College Board. I'll put the link to do that uh, below this video. What we're going to do here is we have to figure out, so, so this shape right here, uh, this that I'm pointing at is part of a polygon. Uh, it's the only part that's revealed because it's covered by this piece of paper, right? So here's a piece of paper, and, and it's covering our polygon. We want to figure out how many sides that polygon has, and all that we know is that x plus y equals 80. So how the heck do we find the number of sides of a polygon given only x plus y equals 80? Well, buckle up, because we're going to do this, and it's not actually that bad. All right, so the first thing to recognize is that this, right? This right here, uh, people always call it a trapezoid. It's not actually a trapezoid because we don't know that the sides are parallel. In fact, it, I don't think they are. But we do know that it's a quadrilateral. And if it's a quadrilateral, then we know something about the, le um, the number of degrees in it, right? Quadrilaterals have 360 degrees. And if we know that x plus y equals 80, then we know that these unlabeled angles uh, must equal 360 minus 80. So 360 minus 80 is 280, right? And if those two angles uh, add up to 280, then each one must be 140. And we know that because the question tells us this is a regular polygon. Regular polygon means all the sides are equal, all the angles are equal. Okay, so we now know that every angle in this polygon has 140, let's do degree sign, let's be proper here, 140 degrees. What that tells us is that we can solve this problem without much extra effort. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is maybe not what you're expecting me to do. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remind you that every polygon is made up of triangles. Did you know that? I bet you knew that. You might have forgotten it, but you knew it. Right? And so, like, we can just imagine these triangles going all the way around, um, like, etc. Um, but the, really, the only triangle we know about is this first one I drew. But since this is a regular polygon, all these lines, all these segments I just drew are going to bisect these angles, which means 70 degrees and 70 degrees. And if those two are 70, then what's this going to be? What's this here? Well, 70 and 70 is 140. So this is 40 degrees. And so you ask yourself, well, how many 40 degree angles go around here to make 360 degrees, which is going to form a full polygon? Well, that's easy. 360 over 40 equals 9. So there's 9 of these triangles, which means there are 9 of these sides. Cool? That is the way to do it without knowing any formulas. And I like to go that way first because I, this is not, what I'm about to do is not a formula that you need to know to do well on the SAT. It just isn't. So here's the formula, and you might remember this from geometry class. You know that the angles inside a polygon will always add up to n minus 2 times 180. Remember that? Um, so we know the total number of degrees in this polygon will be n minus 2 times 180. However, we don't know the total number of degrees, so we can't solve for n. We only know that one of these angles is 140. So what we're going to do is say n minus 2 over, times 180 over n, right? So that's now going to divide by the number of angles. That's going to tell us what one angle in a polygon of n sides is. And now we can set that to 140, and we can solve, right? So I'm going to do a little bit of erasing here. Okay, erasing done. Now we're going to solve this. n minus 2 times 180 equals 140. n, 180n, minus 360. I'll distribute that 180. Equals 140. n, 40n equals 360. And then n equals 9. All right. 
So there's two different ways to solve this problem. It's a doozy, and when you first see it, you're thinking, I've never seen anything like this. What is the SAT doing to me? These people are the worst. And, you know, part of that might be true, but that doesn't mean you can't solve it. And as I showed in the first solution, you don't even need to really know um, any formulas, except you need to know that a triangle has 180 degrees, and every polygon is made up of triangles. And I think you know that. Okay. So, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you again soon.